Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, Gaming and in this episode, we are going to continue um, the Boron DLC missions uh, quest line. Um, we we kind of just barely started it, and then I stopped doing it uh, unintentionally because I thought the next part of that was to build the rebuild the Boron shipyard, but apparently that was a side quest, uh, which, by the way, that's done now, too. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our mission offers and we're going to grab this into the unknown. And I'm hoping, too, that this will get us a rep with um, the the uh, Alliance of the Word, because uh, I really I have pretty low rep with them right now. And I'd like to get that up so that when I buy ships at their shipyards, I can also equip the better weaponry as well. Um, so let's see uh, the jump gate did indeed activate and reveal a hitherto unknown system. Unfortunately, that also meant that our expedition was not received by our Boron allies as we had hoped. Now you need to help investigate and map out the uncharted region. Stay alert, though, as we do not know what may lie in wait. So what I basically did, if you didn't see the previous episodes, is I, I, I kind of unintentionally, like I said, skipped over this part and just went out and started exploring and found the Boron space and went into Boron space and uncovered it all. <laughs> um, and so we're going to back up a little bit here. Um, as far as the mission goes at this point, it doesn't think we've discovered the Boron. So we're just going to kind of play dumb and pretend like that's uh, where we're at. So I'm over here right now with the Nemesis and I got a small uh, squadron with me. And yeah, so let's go ahead and click accept. And this is an here we go. Expedition. Without comparing a lifetime, I am overjoyed to see you here. We were rather hopeful a reunion with Kingdom End after gate reactivation. The most recent war on missive indicates that this has been the overwhelming focus of their civilization scientific resources. So you will forgive us, perhaps, for being seduced by the possibility. Telemetry shows that this system is annotated as watchful gaze, yet we cannot detect whether it is itself isolated or connects further to any number of other systems. Okay, so basically, I think he's done jabbering, and he wants us to explore and find the gate, which we've actually already found. Um, so, let's just read this again real quick. Uh, explore newly connected system. Okay, so I'm guessing that if we if we just go straight to the gate, um, then it'll kick in the next leg of the quest. Scans indicate that this system is uninhabited. No sign of boron or any other kind of life, biological or artificial. This cannot be true. Are you certain that the sensors are not malfunctioning? It has been so long. I really thought this might be the day I finally reconnect with my kin of the Finn. Kin of the Finn? Take heart, Boron Exile. It may yet be a step closer to your reunion. Explore. We need some detailed system mapping. The task is in your hands. There is much to learn here. Okay. Well, let's, uh, like I said, we'll kind of play dumb and pretend like we haven't discovered anything yet. But we are going to just go straight to the gate. <laughs> so, oh, another thing I... Let us get the system, Matt. Your ship's long-range scans will be a particular benefit when exploring vast distances. Okay. I mean, we can, we can do a couple long-range scans just to do them. Does the mission tell us explicitly to do long-range scans, or does it just say to explore? Yeah, it just says explore. Okay. So he's just telling us if we use our long-range scanner, we can find the gate. data has identified some points of potential interest. We are having trouble logging on to exact locations at this range. See if you can pinpoint them for us. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this for them. Um, does it show us where? Oh, he wants us to go that direction. Okay. So. There we go. 
Okay, is that a... Yeah, I guess that's just part of that quest. Okay. All right, let's go explore these real quick. Oh, what I was uh, about to tell you is that I have... Um, I'm trying something different with the Nemesis here. Uh, I've equipped all of the front guns um, as disintegrators. Um, and I went out and did a couple of test kills and they they do they do surprisingly well and they'll be absolutely devastated against surface elements but yeah it's all um what are, they, what are these guns called i i was really liking the neutron gatling but the problem with the neutron gatling is it's just it's it's very inaccurate and it has a terrible spread uh so we're gonna try thermal disintegrators yeah so we're gonna just try a barrage of those and see how they do oh What's this? Is that a derelict ship? That's cool, if that's what it is. Unknown object. It is indeed a derelict ship. Wow, this is cool. It doesn't it doesn't look intact though. <laughs> it looks like it's in bad, bad shape here. Here, let's put our Assistant! I think you should suit up and investigate. You want me to suit up and investigate? Okay. Any particular spot? Uh, let's, um, before we get out and spacewalk, because... Your ship's sensors are picking up a weak energy signature amongst the debris. Oh, they are? Where's it at? A weak energy signature. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to spacewalk until I know where this is, because this is a big ship. It'll take me forever to comb this on foot, so to speak. This is rad looking, man. So I guess we're looking kind of like for a data leak kind of idea. This ship is big. Wow. different than most of the rest of that ship I've seen. There is a blue thingamadoodle in there. Well, there's kind of blue thingamadoodles all over the place, though. Alright, well, why don't we go... We, we didn't... I don't think we look... Whoops. At this side of the ship, though. We kind of started... Well, this is about where we started, I think. So I don't see anything showing up as a a data link or a radio signal. But this looks this looks different here than any place else I've seen on the ship. So let's go ahead and pop out here and t take a spacewalk and see what happens. Greetings. Greetings. Nemesis. Vanguard. Repair, repair panel. See if you can repair the panel to gain access. Okay. 
Does the panel show up anywhere? Oh, there it is, over there. Okay. So, let's just fly back over there, because that'll take a, a long time to spacewalk back over there. See, now it shows up, but I, I guess I had to get out of the ship first for it to, to detect it. So, how exactly do we get in there? Let's go over to here. Okay, so we'll stop the ship here. See if we can go through this way, I guess. So it wants us to repair a repair panel, so it's probably going to be similar to like what we do on a a vault, the data vault. We just have to figure out how to get to it. See if we can scooch through here. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, stop. Collect container. Oh. Yeah, okay, because it opened up the thingy here. Let's turn this way. It's a little bit tight in here. Try and get lined up a little bit. Forward nice and slow. So this is a station. I thought it was a ship. You said it was an outpost. New Monkhead, sir. Our team confirms that the Heretics End Gate does indeed contain the coordinates to the Kingdom End system. The timing cannot be coincidental, can it? Just after we received word from the Boron? Is it possible that their experiments were somehow related to the gate reinitialization? Coordinates and timing are relevant, but not conclusive. The fact of the matter is that this is definitely not Kingdom End. Interstellar messenger drones are not the fastest form of communication. We do not know what has occurred on the Boron side since their last message. Theoretically, a connection between the two gates is possible, but that is just a theory. It could well be that the systems were linked. Unfortunately, a theoretical compatibility does not mean much in itself. 
In activating or reprogramming these gates were easy. I am certain I would have overcome the challenges long ago. The split didn't exactly give you a choice over your research focus. Could this be the Boron? Could they really have unlocked jump gate technology? Perhaps. Perhaps not. At this point, any further hypothesis will be mere speculation. Until we have more evidence, keep your ideas off general comms. If you must elaborate your theories, feel free to put them in writing. Okay. Um, alright, so yeah, we found this. Well, no, it does say derelict ship, but I thought Boso said it was an outpost. I don't know, I'm confused. Anyway, let's go uh, check out this next area. Which is up here. Uh, let me look at the map here. Yeah, okay. Got a new message. On Jump Gate's second draft. Oh, wow, that's a lot of text. All right. If you guys are interested in reading this, go ahead and pause the screen. Um, I'm probably just going to kind of speed read it to myself here real quick. Okay, so I, I read through that, and it's just like a bunch of speculation, uh, really. Not a whole lot that... A uh, whole lot that I got out of that, other than it's a bunch of speculation. So, anyway, let's go ahead and check out this next area here. Hold on. I think I am picking up. Oh no. Never mind that. Nothing of interest here. This system's peculiar conditions make getting accurate readings rather troublesome. Okay, so false alarm, I guess. They haven't given us any other markers. So let's go ahead and just start heading towards the jump gate unless something else changes. Explore. You have an unidentified ship on an intercept trajectory. I do? This is our first contact in the newly opened network. We have no idea of who they are or their intentions. Investigate, and if possible, make contact. But maintain vigilance. Where's another ship? I don't see any more ships. Maybe it'll just be scripted in here in a second. Okay. Oh, oh, right here. Okay. It's been following us. It, it's intercepting oh, us. Hi. We're aliens. Please, do not be afraid. I shall disengage my armament. That's kind of you. Greetings. I am so pleased to make your acquaintance. Incredible. Finally, contact with our aquatic allies. Bosota, are you receiving this? Boso? Are you around? What did you say? A boron? Truly? A living, buoyant boron? Are my ocular sensor organs deceiving me? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bozo Tar, and I can barely recall another boron face. I have been riven from my people for that long. Will you please deign to share your time with me? I am Leela T, adventurer extraordinaire. I would be delighted to spend time with you. As appointed delegate of the Alliance of the Word, please allow me to extend my greetings to you and your people. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Nilati. I do not have any official capacity as such, but it is marvelous to be seeing actual people from beyond the disconnected gates. How did you get here? Has a gate reopened? Are we connected once more? Oh, I knew it would have to happen eventually. What joyous news! Momentous news indeed. 
Although we are less than clear on how this has occurred, there is speculation that the boron triggered the gate reinitialization. Messages from your scientists indicated that they were working on such a task. Please, can you direct us towards Kingdom End? You were in contact with Kingdom End? That is marvelous news! It has been decades since we were cut off. We have heard nothing in all that time. The severing of the connection with Nishala has been indescribably distressing for all of us. My system is in profound turmoil. I... I... To meet a fellow Boron after all these years is an incandescent joy. But to find that you, too, are cut off from the homeworld is a misery. More than you know, Vosotar. We have all mourned this loss. Without access to Kingdom End, your Queen and Parliament, how do you govern yourselves? After the severance, there was a period of chaos, until a royal steward was appointed. I have had dealings with him. It would be my pleasure to make an introduction. We must make haste. There is much to be discussed with your leadership. Follow me, you cavaclade of curious creatures. <laughs> Have a plate of curious creatures. Society not headed by a queen? This is somewhat hard to fathom. Indeed, Bosotar. All right. Your own experience, you understand the pain of separation. I doubt other species appreciate the biological depth of our harmonious societal interconnection. It was worse than it is now. It used to be that all our systems were isolated, severed. Not just from Kingdom End, the Queen, and Homeworld Nishla, but also from each other. Fortunately, several of our systems reconnected to each other eventually, but none received word from home. Reorganization became a necessity. The provinces adrift, as we call ourselves, were only ever intended to be temporary. But under the Royal Steward, it has grown into a comprehensive governing body. But some of us have never given up on Kingdom End. Your communication with the homeworld is momentous in the extreme. Not a soul in these systems has found evidence of where the Kingdom End even still exists. Interesting. Okay, I can't remember how... Where am I... Follow uh, match speed key is so let's just do it this way. There we go. All right, so she's apparently taking us to their faction representative for uh, what are they called? Kingdoms adrift. You bring us guests, outsiders with a fleet, no less. What have you been up to? More than that, Royal Steward, I bring momentous news. The fleet, this paranid led fleet, it came from the dormant gate in watchful gaze. They have communicated with Kingdom End. They have no Kingdom End gate, but they have communication. We are connected to the network once more. My word, the if. The delegation seeks an audience. May I? Yes, yes, of course. There is so much to discuss, so much to consider. Royal Steward. Would it be in order for me to accompany the delegation? I am sure you have other things to do. Diplomacy is not the same thrill as exploration. Please, Royal Steward, with your permission. Of course, Neela T. By all means, accompany the delegation. <laughs> okay. Miss Moore, you have displayed some usefulness thus far. I'm tasking you with joining us in meeting the Royal Steward. I may have need of your insights. Okay. We'll, sh we'll show up. We'll show up for the party. You clearly made an impression on the expedition commander. I sense you are becoming more central to his plans. Join the delegation. Watch this royal steward. I have some experiments to attend to, though I shall keep an eye on you. He's going back to his experiments at a time like this. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're docking with this destroyer here that's a cool looking ship docking 
not possible. Guppy. Docking not possible. The target has no one aboard who could grant you dot what? Oh, do we dock? What are what are these things? Is this where you line up to to dock and then they what tractor beam you in or something? Docking not possible. Target has no docks fitting your ship size. Oh, are we at the wrong ship? Hold on a second. Whoops. I think that's Neela T's ship. So why is docking not possible? Do I have to get in in my spacesuit to dock in there? I'm I'm confused. Maybe I do. Or do we have to go like to the other side of the ship? Maybe. Oh, you know what? They must not have room for Corvettes in there for medium ships. Maybe that's what it is. Docking not possible. Okay, yep. Yeah, I think we're going to have to spacewalk to dock with the ship. All right. Well, let... Whoa. Yeah. Easy there. Easy, cowboy. Um, I guess we'll pull... Just pull alongside of it then. If it does start to move, it'll pull us with it, so we won't lose our ship. We'll strafe over a little bit. All right, so we are standing still. All right, you hold steady there. Nemesis, Vanguard. Docking granted. Okay. Ooh, cutscene. Nice. My ropalium near explodes with the joy of welcoming esteemed visitors. This historic occasion is the first of its kind. I am Lita V, royal steward of the provinces adrift. On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, and as her loyal servant, it is my profound pleasure to welcome an emissary of the Peronid Empire. And once business is out of the way, I insist you join me on a more informal tour. Esteemed Royal Steward, Lita Wee, thank you for your most gracious welcome. You must forgive me. I, Numankaret, am no Empire emissary. I represent the Alliance of the Word a diplomatic forum and scientific organization funded by various races across the network. My, my. But do you have letters patent from the Empire? The provinces adrift are in dire straits. We must negotiate terms of assistance. I am compelled to reiterate, I do not speak for the Paranid authorities. Though we do bring news which may bring joy, we have been in communication with Kingdom End. Limited, fragile communication, but communication nevertheless. Some months ago, we received word from your homeworld. It was heartening to discover that the Boron Corps has survived the shutdown, and learn of their most ambitious endeavor. Their entire scientific resources are focused on understanding and manipulating Jumpgate technology. We humbly request your permission to investigate the dormant Jumpgates in your territory and to set up a scientific outpost in the region, should that be required. There are so many implications to consider. This really is momentous. I am afraid I must decline your request, for now. We cannot be precipitous. By the glistening waters of Nishala! I fail to understand. 
We ask for no more than your permission. We certainly have no wish to be a drain on your resources. Leader Wee, they are trying to connect us with Kingdom End. They have communications. Neela T, this obsession with finding home is entirely yours. You may have the luxury of gallivanting around the galaxy in search of miracles, but I, I this have the going south. I have the welfare of billions of souls to consider. Our guests have already made clear that the outside network, with all its resources, has been unable to connect with our home world. The priority at this juncture is the welfare of our people, and I shall not be distracted from that. Honored host, we will of course expedite communications with the governments of the network. I'm sure emissaries are preparing as we speak. Yet, if we could simply... Enough, please. I understand your request, but I do not think you understand what is at stake. Please have patience, but for now, the matter is settled. Outrageous! Whoa! The Boron Queen's government itself is racing to reconnect, and you decline to facilitate? Dude, what kind easy. Of loyal steward are you? Please. There is nothing to be gained from trading insects. Yeah, that was a little intense. This is absurd. <laughs> Our work is of the utmost importance. Your obduracy is beyond me. I shall take my leave. Wow. That was. I don't know what to think about that. Certainly could have come better. I agree. <laughs> I mean, you kind of can't blame this guy. We just showed up out of the blue and we're asking for permission to his space. Um. All right, we we have to mediate. Why do we have to mediate? What the heck, man? Okay, Reaver Industries. I guess we have pull now. Let's go this way. What do we talk to? Go to uh, crew, crew quarters, I guess. The Whoa. protectorate has determined that this system poses no threat to the citizens of Seoul or the wider network. Our orders are to deploy to a position of more strategic importance. Still, stay alert. None of us know what might be lurking out there. The Alliance of the Word thanks you for your support. We shall proceed alone from here on. Our military friends are needed elsewhere. Alright, I know it wants us to go in there. Is this just another... Yeah, okay. So I guess the Terrans are leaving now. Stuart and I have had our differences in the past, but I had no idea he would be so stubborn. Adventurer extraordinaire Neelity. Okay, let's talk to her. I am so very sorry you had to witness that embarrassingly discordant display. Leader Wee and I disagree on much, but he is not a bad person. You know, he is just... scared. Yeah, I understand. Your quest for home was an obsession? Why is... what is he afraid of? Um... yeah, what is he afraid of? I think he is scared of falling short. He carries the weight of the expectations of the entire provinces. He wants to keep everyone safe, and I think he fears that your expedition will exacerbate an already dangerous situation. Yeah, what dangerous situation are we talking about exactly? Yes, fraught with danger. The provinces lie uncomfortably close to Kark territory. Oh, when Sanctuary of Darkness first connected to the provinces, it triggered regular attacks. We barely managed to protect ourselves with the meager military that we could cobble together. Thankfully, the waves have calmed for now. The Kark incursions eventually ceased. Inscursions? All attempts to communicate with these enigmatic <laughs> creatures have failed. So I would hesitate <coughs> to call it a ceasefire. It is more of a lull in hostilities. As you can imagine, the situation remains rather fragile. Okay. Yeah, we did discover, um, what's it called? Kingdom of Darkness or whatever, that place. Uh, you're... So, yeah, why is your quest for home an obsession? Oh, you took note of that, did you? Uh, yeah, I guess I did. Time I approached Leader Wee for the resources to find our way back home. But he has come to the conclusion that efforts spent on this endeavor come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the impression that I do not care for my fellow Boron here. Out on the fringes, 
I am truly seeking to make a difference for the people. Serving the Queen's subjects is a duty for me. You see, I do not like to draw too much attention to it, but I myself am the progeny of stranded minor royals. Before you bow or anything like that, I am not part of the direct line of succession, and that is not how our monarchy works in any case. Yet, it drives me to find a path back home, for the people to once again delight in a reunited, merry realm. Makes sense to me. Okay, um, so... Is there more to this? Yes, fraught with danger. The provinces lie uncomfortably close to Can I speed through this again? I didn't know. Sanctuary of Darkness Whoops. Connected to the provinces, okay, I guess we have to listen to it again. Attacks. We barely managed to protect ourselves. There's another place here we can go to. Uh, we've been on the bridge. Let's go to the dock area. Who does this fool think he is? Does he not understand the gravity of our mission? Withholding his consent, we shall continue without it if necessary. Um, patience towards the close-minded. Calm yourself. Well, I mean, am I in a position to be able to to be scolding this guy? <laughs> let's just let's just advise patience. May have a point. Yeah, there we go. Perhaps his simple mind cannot grasp all the variables at play. Well, I wonder if we can help him to see the bigger picture. Didn't mean to say his simple mind. Uh, he's afraid. Yes, you are right. That much is obvious. I cannot help but wonder if there's more to the issue than that. Perhaps he's overly attached to his role as prime administrator of the provinces. A reunion with King Demend would inevitably result in him having to relinquish power and standing. That's a good point. Um, he fears the cock. Ah, I understand. He is worried that our presence will stir up an infestation of the Chitterers. Chitterers? The Alliance of the Word is certainly prepared to provide assurances that our investigation will not leave him exposed to Ka'ak attacks. Ka'ak. Okay, um... Yep, sounds good. Okay. Now let's go talk to Lita V on the bridge. Ah, the silent one from our disappointing introduction. <laughs> um, perhaps there's a positive solution. If, if you help, we could about the cock threat. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. <clears throat> we use force to resolve this permanently. We aim to, per we aim to avoid provocation at all costs. Let's try that one. Your commendable commitment to peace is as welcome as it is unexpected. The alliance of the word is to be lauded for its respect for our peaceful ways. Okay. If you help, where'd you go? It's probably just a, oh, he's still there. It's just a glitch. If we could help, we could, or if you help, we could use Neela T's to increase your standing. Use, oh, use Neela's ties to increase your standing. We, we would? I am fully aware of Neela T's royal connections. Is it your opinion of me that I am some petty functionary who can be bought and sold, bribed by the highest mm, bidder? Uh, no. You misjudge me, and you misjudge Neela T. For all our disagreements, I cannot conceive that she would be party to such a grubby approach. Of course I desire the return of the provinces adrift to the warm embrace of the homeworld. But what kind of servant would I be if I did so at the expense of the welfare of those under my charge? This is all terribly challenging. My instinct is that your expedition is honest in its intent. However, I find your judgment questionable. That's all the well, game let me say, dude. <laughs> I feel that I must allow you to proceed in your mission. Right on, However, thank you. I ask of you, do not make me regret this. Well, I'll do the best I can, man. Okay. 
With the gate and oh. watchful gaze reactivated, to our knowledge, only three more dormant gates remain in province space. One is located in Ocean of Fantasy, another in Barren Shores. The final one was discovered by scouts in Sanctuary of Darkness. If Sanctuary of Darkness sounds foreboding, you it may does. find that the name is fitting. It is host to a significant Ka'ak infestation. Ugh. Even uttering the name makes my fins tingle. Yet I must remain firm on the matter. Do not, under any circumstances, engage with the Ka'ak. Every interaction with them results in horrific conflict. You have our word, Lita We shall do everything in our v. power to avoid undue provocation. Thank you. And may I bestow upon you a gift? We have prepared for you a fighter ship. Oh. A humble gift, but hopefully it will be of use to you in the times ahead. Explorer, you have done well to secure access for us to continue our mission. Please, claim the scout ship as your own. Well. Oh, so they gave us a Mako. Nice. Okay. Um, thanks, man. And sorry for pissing you off. I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay. This is kind of fun. Uh, also, it's uh, going really long. So, guys, um, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, this story is quite involved, uh, more than I was expecting. Uh, so we'll just pick up uh, probably right where we left off and keep working on the storyline until, it, you know, we kind of get to a point where it makes sense to uh, go do other things. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and remember, um, I am going to be gone the first week in May. Yeah, we'll be back until May 8th or 9th or something like that. And while I'm gone, I will not be able to continue making videos. Um, I should have a few pre-recorded videos for you guys, but I don't anticipate that I'll have enough to keep you going until I get back. But when I get back, we'll jump back in and keep going with this awesome series along with the other series that I have going on the channel. All right. See ya.